Hey, Steve DiMaggio here for Breed Love, and today we're going to be going over the Organic Pro Performer Pro Series. So at the beginning of 2023, the Performer Series starts at 1149, goes to 1199, is available in Concertina, Concert, and Concerto, is made in China, and this does come with a hard shell case. There are a couple things when looking at Organic Pro that you got to remember that are carried throughout the line. The first thing is that all these guitars are solid construction. So the tops, the sides, the backs, there's no laminates used at all in the construction of Organic Pro guitars. The second thing is all the materials in these guitars have been sustainably sourced. And what that means is no forests have been clear cut to create these guitars. And to that point, Tom Bedell himself, the owner of Breedlove, has gone to the Republic of Congo and to the Swiss Alps to see the locations where the materials are sourced for these guitars to ensure that, in fact, the wood for these guitars are being sustainably harvested. Along with that, Breedlove uses about half the glue to build these guitars as a traditional guitar, and all concertina, concert, and concerto guitars take advantage of the new Cascade bracing. So let's dig into this Performer Series specifically and see what features are on it. Starting at the bottom here, we have a gold strap pin that goes into an African mahogany body. And you can see your access to your battery compartment and your input jack right here on the bottom bout also. Now this African mahogany has been sourced from the Republic of Congo. And like I previously said, Breedlove has been on site to make sure that it is being harvested sustainably and isn't encroaching on the native peoples of the land and that sort of thing. Up from there, you can see there's a plastic tortoiseshell binding that goes around the circumference of the guitar and up the neck. And right on the top of that, you can see there's this nice little brown line that follows the guitar all the way around to kind of frame it in. Now the top of this guitar is solid European spruce. Now on that European spruce top, we have an Ovengall bridge. That Ovengall bridge is a pinless bridge. And what that means is there are no pins to hold the strings in. So you can string directly through this. And what that allows is a little bit better resonance, but the main thing is you're not having to use tools or pliers or anything else to actually pull those pins out, put the string in, and then put the pin back in. Up from there, we have a walnut rosette. And then inside this guitar is where all the magic really happens when it comes to sound, and that's the new Cascade bracing. So what Breedlove did was they took all the knowledge from years of their sound optimization process used on the Made in Ben models, and they boiled it down per shape for the Cascade bracing. And what that means is you have a maximized bracing pattern for the concertina, for the concert, and the concerto all being different. Now flipping the guitar over a little bit, you can see right there is your Fishman Flex Plus T electronic system. And you have a volume, you have a treble, and you have a bass. If you press the volume in, that's gonna activate your tuner right here. See, a little green. And then if you hold down the B, that's actually gonna flip your phase. Times when you would use a phase reversal would be if you're being mic'd up and you're getting kind of a wonky sound, sometimes it can kind of sound like a flanger or a phaser going. That means that your phase is off and you'll wanna hit that button. Up from electronics, we follow that tortoiseshell binding to an African mahogany neck. Profile on this neck is a slim C, so nice and comfortable, not too fat, not too thin. We have an Ovengall fingerboard, three millimeter offset brass dot inlays, nickel frets, and a tusk nut. Above that, we have an Ovengall overlay onto the headstock, and that's Breedlove written in acrylic right there. Flipping over, we have a 15 to one Breedlove tuning machine here with black buttons. So what's this guitar sound like? The best way to put it with the European spruce top and the African mahogany sides and back, this guitar sounds like what an acoustic guitar sounds to most people inside their heads. So when they're thinking about playing or maybe writing something, most players will have that traditional spruce mahogany sound kind of in their head already. So this is great when you kind of want to have a nice blank slate to go from when it comes to tone. The African mahogany is super clear and super punchy, and the spruce top kind of gives it that sparkle. And once you add in that cascade bracing, it really does open up the guitar a ton. So now let's check out some video sound samples that I recorded a while back in my office. Enjoy. <laughs> 